Hi Capricorn, Narai here, going to do a reading for you guys. I hope you are well today. Um, I do want to say something about my last couple of readings when I'm talking about men and relationships and women and feelings and how they handle things. That, of course, is not going to be inclusive of everyone in the, gener in the gender, so be mindful of that. Um, I have an opinion. I'm listening to things that are other people's opinions. Of course, a man in a relationship and how quickly they get feelings, that can vary, and same with women. So I just wanted to put that disclaimer out there. Um, so this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and South Node. Spirit, what messages do we have for Capricorn? Any messages and guidance for the sign of Capricorn? Please and thank you. Messages and guidance for Cappies, please. Take what fits and leave the rest. Please read between the lines. And just because I say something doesn't mean you have to take it to heart. Thank you, Spirit. Ooh. The Knight of Wands. This is somebody impulsive. Somebody that I'm, I'm feeling somebody looking for a good time. Patience with the Temperance card. This is having balance. This is continuing to heal. This could be letting you know that somebody might be coming in your energy that's only looking for a good time. You're going to have to trust your feelings on this one and, and be intuitive. This is the Queen of Cups. She's very intuitive. But this is a very caring person. I have the Seven of Cups. This is a person with options. This can be confusion. This can have distractions coming along and letting you know that everything is not as it appears. Hmm. The Page of Pentacles. Maybe the person coming to you is a page. It could be somebody that's not really financially uh, well off. It could be somebody that is not as grounded as you would want them to be. Or this could actually be you guys. Maybe you're not as financially stable as you want to be. And you have options and you're kind of confused in regards to which way to go. I feel like for some of you, this could actually do with a job. You might have options and you're kind of confused which way to go because you realize that certain offers are better than others, but you want to be sure that you do your research and you have all the answers before you decide because there might be things that are not as they appear. Everything might be Everything might not be made known to you. I have the Six of Cups. This is loyalty here. This is familiarity. This is reminiscing. Some of you may... Some of you may be trying to decide whether to stay in a field that's familiar to you or try something else because you're afraid of not having that stability if it's too challenging for you. But this could have to do with a choice um, in regards to a person that may seem a little familiar to you. You guys might be in your heads about something with the Eight of Swords energy, trying to decide what's going to be best for you. I don't know why, but it's like, I'm going to take that card because I saw it. Um, I don't know why, but it's like for Capricorns, it's almost like we feel guilty for taking care of ourselves and putting ourselves first. And I feel like that's what's happening. Somebody 
is like almost feeling guilty for taking care of themselves. They're in their head about it. But I have, I have the Empress card. This is letting you know that you have to nurture yourself. You have to do what's best for you. You have to take care of yourself. Messages and guidance for Capricorn. I still feel like somebody's coming in for a good time and that temperance is telling you to be patient and kind of like not rushing into anything and to trust your heart and, and, and um, listen to your intuition with the Queen of Cups because she is intuitive. This is about holding your energy back. This is also about saving your money. Sometimes we need to save our money just for the sake of saving our money, not just saving our money because there's an emergency. You save in case of an emergency. Do what you will. This is um, what I'm getting from the reading. You can flip the roles or disregard what I say. It's totally up to you. Mm. Yeah. Some of you are struggling when it comes to holding your energy back and even saving your money. Some of you want to and then you don't. It's like a struggle within yourself, not knowing which way to go. That can affect something. Ooh. Hermit mode. This is you reflecting within to get the answers. You have the answers you seek. There's no need searching for outside, through two outside sources for the answers that you need. But it's like you guys may be looking for answers outside of yourself because you're scared of making a mistake and having regrets like you have in the past. This is about learning to trust yourself. Taking care of yourself and trusting yourself. Only you know what's best for you, Capricorn. Messages and guidance. I didn't see it, but let's take it. Queen of Pentacles. You need to be sitting pretty in that Queen of Pentacles energy. This is the energy of somebody... Um, and I have to clarify this, and I hate that I have to, because people just take things so literal. Um, but with the Queen of Pentacles energy, this is, this is my match my energy card. And when I say match my energy, it doesn't mean if somebody's masculine, you have to be masculine, or if somebody's feminine, you have to be feminine. It's just about a person that doesn't have time to waste, and they're not going to invest energy into someone else that's not giving anything to them. That's what I mean by match your energy. The Queen of Pentacles, when she's dealing with somebody, if you seem like you're too busy, she's not going to keep giving because her time is valuable too and so is her energy. It really has value. And I feel like that's something you guys, some of you may actually struggle with. That might be why you're in this energy. And that might be why you have to go into hermit mode and that you're afraid of having regrets because you've invested your energy into people but if you hold back a little bit with the four of pentacles and have stability and balance in regards to the energy you're giving out and also the money you're giving out it allows you number one not to be taken advantage of by somebody coming to you whenever they need money and it also allows you to hold a little bit of your energy back so that you're not feeling depleted after dealing with somebody Ooh. Yes. And so if you do that and you have your boundaries and protect your, this is protecting your energy. This is protecting your territory, standing your ground, having those boundaries, having those boundaries and not allowing somebody to rush you that's coming in for a good time, being patient with yourself and being okay with people walking away from you because you don't do what they want. That will allow you to stay grounded and protect your energy and not feel like you've lost a bit of yourself if things don't work out. But it will put you on the path to meet somebody that is willing to invest in you and that actually wants something. 
a lot of times people are spending time investing in people that don't even want anything from them but a good time. So this is you protecting your energy, standing your ground, asking those questions, not giving to somebody that's not giving to you energy-wise, investing in someone that is investing in you equally. So that's what I have for you, Capricorn. It looks like there's somebody coming towards you. Um, I can't say the first somebody is going to be the person for you to have the Ten of Cups with, but be mindful that there are people coming into your energy that you're going to meet, and there may be a few that are just looking for a good time. So you have to really trust your feelings and listen to your intuition. All right, that is what I have you, uh, have for you. I don't know why I can't talk, but that is what I have for you. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing, and I love you guys. Hit my like button. Bye.